and we're back. That took me all 15 seconds. All right, so whew, I still got a little cayenne on my burner or something. That stuff will soak you out. All right, so we're going to saute this really quick, and then I'm going to put the wok right on here. Can actually get it heating up just a little bit on this burner and um, so yeah fried rice is real fast oh and I've got little bacon pieces in here too I had some thick cut bacon and I cooked that down and so there's a little bacon fat in here too so we've got a nice combination of uh, multi flavors and um, you know these all go really well with broccoli shrimp broccoli bacon um, red peppers, garlic, good stuff, good stuff. All right. Mmm. That's good. Little finger licking there. Little finger licking. All right, let's get. Whoa. All right. And it's already sticking. So that's done. And take this put that on there full blast uh, I got a little bit of uh, um, regular oil in there I'm gonna add a little sesame now the trick it's really the a trick to the trick to um, getting a good fried rice is that you want to caramelize the rice and, and our oil is smoking I gotta put you down um, is you want to caramelize the rice in the pan oh I forgot to ask the lady about my thing oh, whatever from church um so you want to caramelize the rice in the bottom of the pan all right so there we go rice in the pan he's still there you're still there right on so and I'm gonna take my stuff no I still got that one sticky spot all right I'm gonna take my stuff and put it right on top all right, I'll put you down. So you want to caramelize the rice. So years ago, I thought it was, I think I told you, I thought it was soy sauce. That's one thing when you work in corporate restaurants and you're not working under a good chef, which I've been in in a couple of places, um, you don't really under, you don't really learn the concepts behind the food. You just learn what they teach you how to cook. And it's good, it's good that, like, I know how to rock and roll a line. I can run a line of 200 um, dishes, 250. I, the highest I've ever done was a 320 hour at 540 seating um, on a dinner shift. And I've done a 360 hour on a lunch shift. But lunches move a lot faster. That's when we had that 15 minutes or it's free lunch thing going on. Uh, at uh, Red Lobster back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s and that was one of their big one of their big guns so a little uh, soy a little more soy there we go I like a little salt too now we have to keep it moving fast all right because it's sticking so I gotta keep it going and going and going. That's I want that rice browned. I don't want it crispy. All right. Okay. And another one. Take it. Spread it out. Pat it down a little bit. That's my last turn. Okay. And I'm gonna put you on the rocks glass. Go in the plate. Whoa, soy sauce. Why do I always knock soy sauce over? I did that in my last time. Whoa. And, um, dang, got my deck dirty too. All right, there we go. Shrimp fried rice. See that couple of seconds that I had to clean up the soy sauce that rice got on there? And that's burnt. I don't want that. That's crispy. That's bad. But I do want that little bit of onion there. And there it is, shrimp fried rice. Real fast, real quick. Uh, this cost me less than $2. No, about $2 because I used a fair amount of shrimp. Um, hey, America, you know, Chef John to get a gourmet. 
trying, trying to stay on the right side of the law. You know what I mean? Not really interested in going back to prison. All right, so there it is. There's our close-up. Shrimp fried rice with broccoli, red peppers, onions, and all that. All right.